This is Mr. Chu and he's a gem of a find. We found him online and he's brilliant because he knows everything there is to know about Kalamaili Nature Reserve and he so graciously agreed to take us along and show us around in his turf and we've arranged to meet not too far from just up the street so I'm excited to see what he's like. I think that's him. That should be Mr. Chu. That's him waiting on the side. Is it okay? Call him. I'm coming. That guy is Chu Xianzheng. That's him. That's him. Great. Let's go and say hi. Can we? There. Oh, he's right on time. Hi, Ni Hao. We're on a mission to see the Schwarzkopf oh, horses. Some 30,000 years ago, this was the original habitat. Rarer than a giant panda, with less than 1,000 roaming the earth, and most of them kept in foreign zoos, you feel like it's a real honor to see them in their natural habitat. This is the last species of wild horse left in the world, named after Nikola Schwarzky, a Russian explorer who first described the horse in 1881. They disappeared from China in the 60s, the victims of ruthless poaching. What's the name of this highway? Uh, it's called National Road 216. Where does it start? Where it's it? from Artai to Urumqi. Uh -huh. We just now inside the Kalamani Angulate Nature Reserve. Yeah. yeah. Uh, is there life around here? I mean, yeah, um, yeah the wild horses. Uh, releasing, yeah, the special releasing, mm -hmm. uh, And the uh, plant, plant, uh, wild donkey. And the wild donkey. <laughs> donkey yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What else? And, uh, and uh, wolves. Yeah. And what else can you do there? Can you, I mean, besides seeing these beautiful animals, like yeah, you can hiking. go walking, uh, hiking, uh, and uh, for camping. Uh, camping yeah, as well. Uh, oh, yeah. I'm so uh, glad you are my yeah. guide. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic! I cannot yeah. wait. But first, Mr. Chu wants to show me a miracle of a natural heart wonder in the desert. That zoos are naturally healed. Yeah. Look. Okay. We're here. Where is this? Uh, Wuhan hot springs. There's a hot spring in the desert. Really? How did you discover it? It was discovered by the local Hasid people. Uh huh. Uh, when they use it, they uh -huh. found their skins becoming better and healthier. Oh. And it looks like a resort, actually. It's really a resort. And a lot of visitors coming here to enjoy the hot springs. A mere two and a half hour drive from Pumchi, lots of visitors from the capital city check in here for the weekend. Accommodation is relatively affordable, but we have an important mission at hand. It nearly summed out, we have no time to spare. Well, it's getting late, but we um, need to get back on the road. Thanks for showing me this place. Oh, my pleasure. Yeah, <laughs> you're very kind. The Wild Horse Research Center is not open to the public. However, if you're serious and responsible enough, you can ride in for a special permit. Mr. Chu tells me that the center has developed into the largest of its kind in Asia. The survival rate of the wild horse has risen from 25 to 89 percent. I'm now just one step closer to seeing these creatures. Center for the monetary uh, oh, So all these guys this are doing the good work. Oh, hey, how right, are you? Oh. Hi. Hi. Uh, this, is the, uh, this is the place where uh, we introduced the uh, Shuasi horse, and uh, this is quite a big area, and uh, we got several like water. So this is like a water rich area, uh -huh. and the vegetation is pretty good. So um, compared to other places, and this is pretty far from the road, so uh, so horses are safe from those like uh, people's uh, harassment. Uh -huh. Well, we're hoping to see some of these species yeah, yeah, exactly. tomorrow. Yeah, exactly. You, get <laughs> we, we, you know, he has binoculars, but I, I'm sure like we're in good hands. Uh, so uh -huh. we hope to see some wild horses. Right, right. Just ask Mr. Chu. He knows everything. Dusk and dawn make for stunning photographs in this area, but I have only one thing on my mind my imminent encounter with a Schwatzky horse. These creatures are seriously endangered and their future rests heavily on the shoulders of Mr. Chu and his colleagues. Yeah. 
Can't wait. In 1985, the Schwarzky Horses Reintroduction Program was initiated to coincide with the creation of Xinjiang Wild Horse Breeding Center. At 14,000 square kilometers, that's almost the size of the Bahamas, this is one of the largest nature reserves in China. So I have some serious doubts about spotting any of the horses. Where there is water, there is life. One of the best ways to study and trace any animal is to head for its drinking source. Kalamaili Nature Reserve is a paradise for many exotic animals, but in this vastness, it's just so hard to gawk at them. But I feel like a spy with a front row seat. It is exciting to see these animals, apparently without a care in the world. Day and night, their movements are meticulously recorded as scientists try to decipher just what motivates them. So this is the video that we just took um, at the waterhole, and you can see that having a camera trap is really great because the horses don't know that you're there. You can see a lot of the horse's behavior, and now you can see the horse in the back is lying down, playing in the mud. Um, and the entire herd has come in and they're all drinking. The pictures and videos fueled my anticipation. According to Mr. Chu, the horses have a few favorite sports of their own, and that's where we're headed to. I'm not quite sure if, if you're comfortable with this distance, but for now it seems okay. You can see over there, there's a little baby. See the baby? Small, they're so small, their necks are so thick. Can we, can we come closer? Let me get comfortable. Okay, let's see you again, Mom. Okay, okay. But here we have a relationship with them, you know, they're observing us, they're moving according to, you know, what we're doing and, and they're really like noticing, you know, they're giving us attention and awareness and now they've all gone. This is my first time observing any type of animal in the wild, let alone an endangered species. We were so involved in the chase, I can hardly process the magnitude of the sightings. There's gazelles all out there. It's like a manic chase. The moment they hear the car come in, they run as fast as they can and then they sort of suddenly stop and then they're kind of just parallel. Just ahead of us. The black tailed gazelle is highly elusive, but even more difficult to spot is the speedy and notoriously untamable Asiatic wild ass. This endangered animal, more horse than donkey, can race at speeds of up to 70 kilometers per hour. After driving around for four hours, we almost gave up hope. These creatures run for their lives when they pick up an unfamiliar sound even three kilometers away. But something fortuitous happens. We chance upon a crossing. For all the green messages about the protection of our great biodiversity, the urgency now feels truly personal. Seeing the Schwarzky horses and other endangered animals has been a truly unforgettable experience for everyone in the crew.